Well, for today's Foxy Moms Fitness Monday, we're talking proper technique and how to avoid injuries. Our friends at Altitude Performance and Science Center recently showed me how to lift weights the right way. Well, good morning. We are here with uh, Coach Jake Richmond from Altitude Performance and Science Center. And today it's all about proper technique. And when you don't do certain exercises and weightlifting properly, you could be in danger of injury. Big time, yeah. Big what time type of injuries are we talking about here? Lots of spine injuries, lots of joint injuries, overuse injuries, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so you say a lot of people obviously lift weights like this. Yes. And a lot of them at least do they it should improperly. Be, yeah. That, yeah, a lot of them. Okay. So when we get into the Olympic weightlifting stuff, that's when people start to get their form breaks down. Okay. So you need a really good coach, like a lot of us in here who have been trained or have done Olympic weightlifting stuff, to teach you. Okay. Kay? So let's start. What do I need so to do? So we're going to start doing a deadlift. Okay. Okay. So bend down, grab it in a clean grip so your hands are a little bit narrow. Okay. Just stand up with it, make sure your back is straight, and then I'll bring you into position. Okay. And so arms are gonna be straight. Straight. Shoulders back. Big thing is this is a leg exercise, so I want you to bring your hips down so it's into a squat. Okay. Coming through the heels, make sure the back is nice and straight, torso is nice and tight, come on back up, make sure shoulders are back. Okay. When you lift in a, in a, in a position where your spine is bent, your vertebrae pinch in the in the front of it and so if you're weighted you have a lot greater risk for having the bulge disc okay among other things but that's one of the big ones all right and so just Go down. do five proper ones so getting your butt down lifting through your heels nice and close to the legs so you almost want to brush as you're coming up okay. on the legs there I got my arms yep. but beautiful Another common exercise is the shoulder press. The shoulder and press. there are many ways to do it wrong. Lots of ways to do it wrong. And you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with a barbell, uh -huh. you can do it, you can do handstand push-ups, that sort of stuff. So but what's bad? Works. What should we not be doing? So bad is locked legs. Okay? Because yeah. locked legs put a lot of pressure on your lower back. Okay. Plus, if you're a little bit older or you have some circulation issues, when you lock your knees, the venous return from the heart, so blood getting pumped back up into the heart. It gets locked back there, Ooh, that's and it bad. won't get up to the heart, that and you'll have some bad. fainting. Okay. I don't want to so faint. So especially with an older population, yes. always have soft okay. knees. Okay, soft knees, got it, okay. With a shoulder press, I don't want to see way out in front of you, because that puts a lot of pressure front of the shoulder and on right. the lumbar spine. Also, not way back, because then you really feel it in the lumbar, and bad for your shoulders. Okay. So as you press up, straight up, biceps right next to your ears. Okay. And you come back down. How's it feel? Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. So, so you really have you, to concentrate about your form. Oh yes. As you press up, you breathe out. And as you come back in, you breathe in. So out. And then you come back in. Always keeping your knees nice and bent. Torso nice and tight. Well, every Monday morning, we give you workout advice and nutrition tips to keep you healthy. And you can learn more by logging on to altitudeperformance.net. 748. We'll be right back.